Everybody loves Lucy. I love Lucy. Thank do you. Do you love Lucy? Yes, I do. Thinking back over all the years of the I Love Lucy shows, is there always one particular thing that comes to mind as the happiest memory from all of it? No, but there are about eight or ten. Give me the nicest one. The happiest moment, I suppose, was the baby show. Ricky, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I'd have to mention that because I was really having a baby. It was really my last show before I had the baby, and it was for real, and it was the most exciting thing in my life. But what's the real reason for the success of I Love Lucy? It was a marriage of several things, not just the cast, but the writers, the producer. There was identification with an American audience, but with audiences all over the world, we found out. They didn't have to understand the language to understand the predicament and the way I got in and the way I got out and the love at the end. We always had a happy ending. And domestic situations are very easily identified all over the world. And that was our great thing. That and the fact that we had an audience always as a barometer. And the audience was a cross-section of America and seemingly a cross-section of the world. Still laugh when you watch? I don't laugh, but I I cry a little. Why? Because they're gone. And, and good memories. They were wonderful to work with. Vivian was sensational. Bill was sensational. The entire operation was innovative and great. When did you know it was going to be as big as it was? As it's not become? until about two or three years. Were there scary moments at the very beginning that it might not run for as long as it was? No, no. We had no scary moments because we didn't expect to run. We expected to do it for about a year, and then it would all be over. It would be something that I could show my baby as, as home movies. We had no plans. Nobody knew anything about television. So we weren't disappointed. It was all a big surprise. How alike the character are you in real life? I'm not quite as scatterbrained. I'm not as scheming. And I'm not as klutzy. But a lot of Lucy went into Lucy. It's bound to after a while. What did you do to make certain that you didn't go off the tracks in this town? I just kept on working. I had no plan. I had no format for that. I only had a format for my show and I had great people and I didn't want to lose them and I kept them working and we all, we kept each other working and on our toes. We did the best we could. We were happy in our work. Lucy, you said that one of the reasons why I Love Lucy started was to keep you and Desi together. It was to have a family and, and live a pretty You cannot life. have a baby over the telephone, long distance. I found that out. So I Love Lucy brought you together. What was it that pulled you apart? I think Desi did such a fantastic job for so many years and worked so hard. And, and Desi does nothing in moderation. He uh, worked hard. He was a great innovator. He was a great businessman. He was a great showman. And he also played hard. Are you still close, even though you're divorced? Very. Talk to him practically about three times a week children are very close. We never had a, a, a unpleasant moment. We didn't even get two lawyers when we got divorced. Are you tired of running down a list list? <laughs> Do you pop out a party? <laughs> are you unpopular? <laughs> Did you find yourself growing up and growing as a woman while you were doing it? No, I got more childish and happier. When you are doing bigger than life things that are unbelievable, you have to believe. So you're believing unbelievable things. And you have to use a childlike quality daily to get through that and make it honest. I've never been asked that before. I'm glad I had an answer. Mm -hmm.